What's up everybody? Oliver Nye here. We are in one of my favorite tackle shops in all of the world. Here at Raleigh and Helens in Monaco, Wisconsin. Uh, the mecca of musky fishing. So we're actually gonna show you guys how we've been rigging these Defiant swim baits to target muskies. We've got two different sizes here. This is the 210, it's eight and a quarter inches. And the 247, that comes out to nine and three quarter inches. You got about two and a half, three ounces here on the smaller size and six ounces on the bigger size. They come in two sink rates. You have a slow sink model and a moderate sink model available in both sizes. Got different uh, color patterns to match the hatch here. Obviously this new yellow perch color is gonna be really popular. We got the bait fish, it's a good match for the Cisco systems. Uh, we've got a new carp color. Uh, that's going to match the suckers and many of those different rough fish as well as the carp themselves and one of our favorites which is the pearl white okay and there's two. the unique features of this bait is its versatility and its rigging out of the box it's going to come with these two single hooks and they're set up just like a spinnerbait trailer hook with this little pin here that helps secure the the trailer hook inside the slot of the plastic Okay, and we actually like fishing this system when we're fishing through heavy cover. It's pretty amazing how well this bait with two exposed single hooks is able to swim through wood, uh, brush, lay downs. And that fishability is gonna allow you to throw this bait in places these muskies haven't seen one before. We're also gonna show you guys how to rig this bait with two treble hooks for fishing open water, fishing mid column, high in the column, uh, something that many of the musky guys will probably be a lot more comfortable with, okay? And we have a spread here of all the components we need. First thing you need is a high quality swedging tool, okay? Then you need some double sleeve crimps here. We've been rigging these baits on 135 pound fluorocarbon. We've been using this high sea stuff with a lot of success. Haven't had any bite throughs yet. So hopefully that uh, continues to be the case. We've got some 180 pound crane swivels. Then we have solid rings and split rings. And we've actually been doing really well with these uh, owner ST36 hooks. They, they penetrate really well. And even with a lock drag, 100 pound braided line to 130 pound floral leader, we haven't had any failures yet. And uh, this is a hook that we're really comfortable with from the trophy largemouth fishing world. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to rig the top hook system first, and then we're gonna go ahead and rig the bottom hook system. So you take your... All right guys, so this is a really simple process. This whole system was designed to be simple. You've got two entry points here on the nose, top and bottom. So if you wanna come out at the top of the bait, if you're bottom bouncing and you're trying to fish through those lay downs and that cover that we talked about, just run your 130 pound fluorocarbon leader through Take your double sleeve and then run it through the eye of the lead hook. I normally take a lighter and mushroom the end of my leader before I cinch them down, but just for ease of rigging and time's sake, we're gonna pull that pretty tight there. Leave just a little bit of wiggle room. Take your swedgers gonna bevel the edges so you don't bite the ends into your leader. Give it a nice little crimp. And go to the other side. These are pretty long sleeves. So I crimp twice. You see that there? Okay, and then that's gonna suck up into this dorsal fin cavity quite nicely, just like that. And then you can take the pin here on the trailer hook and insert it straight down into that plastic gap. That's gonna help hold that bait in there a little bit cleaner. Now that crimp does eat up a little bit of space. But you can also use a paper clip there to hide that bait and help keep that thing in place. Uh, I don't really owe I don't always run the trailer hook. Sometimes I run a single, especially on the smaller size bait. Okay. And then I run a pretty short leader, anything from 12 to 18 inches. So snip that, 
take your leader, sleeve, swivel, get a little bit of a gap there, crimp, always take your time and pay attention to the details when you're crimping. There's that. And voila, you've got a highly effective fishable system to come through cover that's now musky proof. Okay. And on the bigger size, I'm gonna show you guys how we rig this up for open water fishing. So it's real similar. 130 pound leader. Run it through the bottom hole of this bait. It's gonna come out the belly here. Okay. And I actually like going to a split ring and letting it hang. So what I need first is a couple of sleeves. So always run the sleeve first. And then what I'm gonna go to is actually a solid split ring. I'm sorry. And then what we're gonna go to is a solid ring. And the reason for the solid ring is because if I went to a split ring, there's a potential of that leader working its way through the split and coming off completely or nicking and damaging your leader material. So going to the solid ring, to a split ring, to the hook is my preferred rigging method. It just eliminates that ver potential variable for failure. Okay, so I'm gonna crimp that down. Same method. Just like that. Okay, that's gonna suck up to the belly there. And same thing, pretty short leader. Gives me better control on my baits. So to that solid ring, I've got my split ring. I'm gonna take these five out hooks here. Okay, pop it on the split. And then feed that ring through my solid ring. And voila, I like free floating that belly hook. I seem to have a higher percentage on hookup. Occasionally uh, that bait will foul on the cast, but it's pretty minimal. Uh, I don't even know what I was trying to say. <laughs> All right, so there's hook number one. And here's a, a neat little rigging system that I came up with uh, last season. Because, because of the point of exit on this bait, I didn't have enough space to rig up another trailer hook or a stinger hook. And there's really no way to rig one up here towards the head or the throat. But what I did figure out was I could take that same split to solid ring and put a treble on the split ring. Oh, cut. And same thing, you want that solid ring to sit on your leader and actually free float it on that leader. And that pretty much puts it perfectly in line for any headshots. And we've successfully hooked big pike and muskies only on that front hook when they're coming in and eating the head specifically. Okay, and then we just finish it the same way. Crimp, swivel, mushroom the end of the fluoro, uh, if you like, before you crimp it down, just as a insurance policy of that thing not slipping through the crimp. But this is a very simple yet effective way to rig these swim baits for toothy predators. There it is. Cover, open water, one-two punch slow sink, moderate sink, really versatile, 
uh, great patterns, great swimming action. These baits uh, put off, off these baits put off a lot of vibration, but in a very subtle way. And they also do this on the sink. So those of you guys that are uh, ripping plastics, every time you rip it, it's gonna pulse. You're gonna feel that vibration, and every time it stops, it's gonna actually swim on the way down. A lot of our bites come on that pause, rip, rip, boom. And yeah, have fun with it, guys. And the biggest thing about these baits is that they're a line through system. So any of you guys that have fished a heavy bait that's a fixed system may have experienced some catastrophic failures. And in the bass fishing world, we have that all the time when our big largemouth try to clear the water, but we've had, we've had the same scenario unfold with musky fishing as well. These things go airborne or they get their big heads out of the water, start shaking. You got this heavy bait affixed directly to your hook, bad things happen. And that's namely your bait getting tossed and the musky swimming the other way. Well now, regardless of whether they eat the back hook or, or the front hook, now they have a little bit more room here and they lose all the leverage of that six ounces of plastic that's gonna result in a higher uh, strike to, to hook up to landing ratio. And especially so here on the weedless. So whether they eat this whole thing and get the front hook or both hooks or only the back hook, that line through system is still in effect. Boom, boom, boom. You're in trouble, Mr. Muskie. So hopefully you guys uh, take these uh, rigging methods here and get these baits swimming uh, right into the mouths of your new personal best muskie. They're so good, even an idiot like me got a 53. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to TJ's uh, YouTube channel. Subscribe to the Big Bass Streams channel. We've got a whole series of musky fishing uh, with a little bit different perspective, and we've been having a lot of fun with it. So uh, we appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot, and catch you guys at the musky shop. I'm out! <laughs>